what would be the function of the absolute worst machine you can think of? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-1459, The Puppy Machine. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-1459. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1459 is to be kept within a standard containment vault in Safe Wing C of Sector 25. As of May 16th, only Level 1 Maintenance Technician Valera may view and interact with SCP-1459. MT Valera is to be presented with the opportunity to receive a mild amnestic to ameliorate emotional escalation between testing sessions. In the event that MT Valera becomes unavailable to perform further tests, a new individual is to be selected by the presiding on-site counselor. By executive order, testing is to continue indefinitely. Description SCP-1459 is a modified claw crane arcade game machine that stands 2.3 meters by 1.2 meters by 1.5 meters. Like most machines of this variety, it has a central rectangular space with three clear walls on its front and sides, with a white plastic floor and back. However, SCP-1459 is unique in that the inner chamber has no chute, where a prize would normally be dispensed. The front panel features two coin slots, a large red button, a microphone, a digital numeric display, a sign that reads, win a cookie, and a thin horizontal slot from which the aforementioned baked goods are dispensed. There is no power cord attached to the back of the machine, nor is one needed, as it is presumably powered via anomalous means. When SCP-1459 is inactive, the central chamber is completely bare. SCP-1459 cannot be forcibly opened or damaged by any known means. When one US quarter dollar coin is deposited into SCP-1459, a hatch will open in the ceiling of the central chamber and a claw carrying an instance of SCP-1459-1 will descend from it. SCP-1459-1 and other materials produced by SCP-1459 are often too large to normally fit in the upper section of the machine. It is unknown if these materials are manifested by SCP-1459 at the beginning of game sessions or if they are teleported from another location. After depositing the instance of SCP-1459-1, the digital numeric display will present the number of games that have been played previously, which as of July 9th is 2,592, and a voice recording will play urging the player to press the button and describe a way SCP-1459-1 can be destroyed. After this message has been played, the button on the front panel will glow and the numeric display will initiate a 15 second cooldown. The player may then press the button and dictate into the microphone any lethal action that can be performed upon SCP-1459-1, with the only restriction being that players cannot choose a method used in a previous game. SCP-1459-1 are juvenile domestic dogs, the breed and gender of which varies. SCP-1459 typically selects a breed that the individual players hold the most affection toward. Aside from the seemingly infinite quantities that SCP-1459 contains, instances of SCP-1459-1 do not appear to display any innate anomalous properties, and generally behave in a manner consistent with animals of their variety. However, SCP-1459-1 instances may occasionally be subjected to anomalous changes to their physiology or behaviors in order to facilitate the method of destruction dictated by the player. If the player states a method of extermination within the allotted 15 seconds, the hatch in the ceiling of the inner chamber will open and an array of mechanical arms will descend, carrying whatever is necessary to carry out the player's suggestion. Requests for death that are not possible within the confines of the chamber will cause SCP-1459 to display additional anomalous properties to carry out its orders. See Experiment Log Once the instance of SCP-1459-1 is deceased, one cookie will be dispensed to the player via the slot in the front of the machine. Cookie flavors dispensed have included chocolate, vanilla, oatmeal, raisin, strawberry, lemon, white chocolate, and peanut butter. The exact variety dispensed to a given player is often the one that the player has the lowest preference for. 
If the player fails to state a method of extermination or the method proves insufficient, a robotic arm will descend from SCP-1459's hatch and bludgeon the SCP-1459-1 instance until it is deceased. No cookie will be dispensed following this event. SCP-1459 automatically cleans its interior chamber after every game. First, an arm holding a broom descends and sweeps the remains of SCP-1459-1 into a trapdoor. Next, SCP-1459 wipes down the surface of the chamber by deploying arms equipped with flat rubber implements, spray bottles containing a soapy solution, and clean white towels. While this process is taking place, a recorded message will tell the player, yeah, you're totally going to hell for this. Play again? Experiment Logs Experiment number 0001. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Stabbing. Result, SCP-1459 played a sound effect indicating the method of extermination had been previously used. Experiment number 0002. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Chainsaw. Result, same as previous experiment. Superfluous test logs have been redacted. Experiment number 0048. Player Dr. Yeatley. Statement Shark Bite. Result The hatch anomalously elongated and produced a great white shark, which proceeded to bite off SCP 1459 1's head and recede back into the machine. Experiment number 0049. Player Dr. Yeatley. Statement Run it over. Result SCP-1459 produced a tire attached to a spinning mechanism. After the mechanism accelerated to an estimated 2,000 RPM, it made contact with SCP-1459-1. Experiment number 50. Player Dr. Yeatley. Statement, drop it from a great height. Result, SCP-1459-1 fell through SCP-1459's trap door. Fifteen minutes later, it fell through the top hatch at high speed and was instantly killed. Experiment number 51. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Reality TV. Result, a 1958 General Electric television set fell on SCP-1459-1. The set then powered on and replayed the event. Experiment number 52. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Death by Blender. Result, SCP-1459 produced and lowered SCP-1459-1 into a <laughs> brand blender. SCP-1459-1 sat unharmed inside the device for three minutes, after which a robotic arm pressed puree. The blender was uncovered when this transpired. Experiment number 53. Player Dr. Yeatley. Statement, murdered by its lover. Result, SCP-1459 produced a second instance of SCP-1459-1, which proceeded to claw and bite the first instance until it died of blood loss. The second instance was eliminated via SCP-1459's default bludgeoning method. Note, only one cookie was dispensed. Experiment number 55. Player Dr. Yeatley. Statement, murder-suicide. Result, as in the first test, a second SCP-1459-1 murdered the first. Following this, SCP-1459 provided the second SCP-1459-1 with a hammer, which the animal ran into repeatedly. Note, two cookies were dispensed. Experiment number 56. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Crime of Passion. Result, the hatch elongated and a woman in a red evening gown emerged. The woman, who has not yet been identified, strangled SCP-1459-1 while sobbing and screaming the phrase, You dog, repeatedly. The woman performed this action continuously for 15 minutes. Afterward, both the woman and the deceased SCP-1459-1 fell through the trap door and out of view. Experiment number 57. Player, Dr. Yeatley. Statement, Drowning in Puppies. Result. Additional SCP-1459-1 were produced until the entire chamber was filled to capacity. The remaining space was filled with water. Note, many cookies were dispensed. More superfluous logs have been redacted. Experiment number 231. Player, Dr. Lovkvist. Statement, Civil War. Result, 
a man in a historically accurate uniform of the Confederate States Army circa 1863 dismembered SCP-1549-1 with his bare hands. Experiment number 232. Player, Dr. Sedell. Statement, the judicial system. Result. 15 additional instances of SCP-1459-1 were produced, one of which wore a miniature powdered wig and black cloak, and two of which wore miniature suits. A noose was lowered around the first instance's head and hanged the instance. The same procedure was applied to the remaining 14 instances. Note, 15 cookies were dispensed, all of which were of raisin variety. Experiment number 233. Player, Assistant Researcher Kirchner. Statement, Made into Cookies. Result. Using kitchen implements and traditional ingredients, SCP-1459-1 was dismembered and incorporated into a batch of chocolate chip cookies. SCP-1459's internal heat increased to an estimated 300 degrees Celsius. SCP-1459 then produced a woman in a red evening gown who consumed the cookies while smiling wordlessly at Assistant Researcher Kirkner. Note, a chocolate chip cookie was dispensed. No traces of animal matter detected in its composition. Experiment 234. Player, Junior Researcher Leishman. Statement, falling off a roller coaster. Result. SCP-1459's mechanical arms constructed a miniature roller coaster within the internal chamber over the course of three hours. Once completed, SCP-1459-1 rode the ride normally until the loop section, at which point the ride stopped, causing SCP-1459-1 to fall to the chamber floor. SCP-1459-1 was then bludgeoned via SCP-1459's default method. Note, no cookie dispensed. Experiment number 235. Player Dr. Hoshi. Statement Batman. Result. A concrete bust of the fictional character was released from the ceiling of the chamber, subsequently crushing SCP-1459-1. The floor remains undamaged. Experiment number 236. Player Dr. Fillmore. Statement Knowledge of the Unknowable. Result. An entity resembling O5 emerged from the trap door of the inner chamber, picked up SCP-1459-1, and pulled it out of sight. Note, when questioned, O5 denied any involvement in the incident. Experiment number 237. Player D-5923. Statement, My Bare Hands. Result, SCP-1459-1 reacted as if being strangled, although no additional presence was observed in the chamber. D-5923 reported feeling SCP-1459-1's fur on his hands as it died. Experiment 238. Player D-5923. Statement Spontaneous Combustion. Result, SCP-1459-1 underwent what appeared to be an accelerated form of SCP-81. Experiment 239. Player D-5923. Statement Nuclear Deton. Subject terminated mid-sentence. Result, the resulting explosion was completely contained by SCP-1459. Note, D-Class personnel no longer permitted for testing. Maintenance technician Valera selected for further testing due to the low likelihood of K-Class scenarios resulting from her requests. Note 2, 368 cookies were dispensed in rapid succession. The significance of this is unknown. Experiment 240. Player, Maintenance Technician Valera. Statement, Happy Thoughts. Result, SCP-1459-1 was injected with a black substance, convulsed, and collapsed. Experiment 241. Player, Maintenance Technician Valera. Statement, Love. Result, a woman in a red evening gown emerged from SCP-1459's upper chamber and began to engage the SCP-1459-1 instance in vigorous osculation for a duration of precisely five hours. SCP-1459-1 is believed to have expired due to asphyxiation sometime roughly halfway through the process. Experiment 242. Player, Maintenance Technician Valera. Statement, Old Age. Result. SCP-1459 played a sound effect indicating the method of extermination had been previously used. 
Maintenance technician Valera was unable to think of an alternative method of extermination and SCP-14591 was disposed of in the default manner. Experiment 243 Player, Maintenance Technician Valera Statement, Please No Kill Dog Result, SCP-14591 was given a pillow, a treat, and a pat on the head by a gloved mechanism. Fifteen minutes later, it was retrieved by SCP-1459's claw. Immediately afterward, SCP-1459 produced a juvenile domestic feline, and exterminated it with a single blow to the head with a sledgehammer. Note, a salted cracker was dispensed. Superfluous logs redacted. See extended log for further documentation. Addendum. The following is a manufacturer's mark present on the rear panel of SCP-1459. Brought to you by the good folks at YWTGTHFT in partnership with Sugarcomb Confections. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you can click over here for another video I made, or you can click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.